as I mentioned in the last video, I wanted to do a painting giveaway for the 2,000 subscriber goal that I hit, and to thank everybody for watching and subscribing and leaving me nice comments. So I'm giving away this painting. Um, this isn't sponsored by YouTube, this is just me. And some of the rules are that you have to be subscribed to my channel, make sure you put a comment below, and this is unfortunately only for um, the United States at this time. So if you put a comment below, the YouTube picker can go ahead and choose a winner. I'm going to go ahead and put this up for a week, and you can I'll put the date in the description below for when you need to have your comment in by. And a week later, I'll pick the winner. So the one that is finding a new home, hopefully, is this green split cup pour. It should look familiar. There's a video on this one, but it has some really cool little details, of course. My favorite colors. Um, you haven't watched... 200 videos without knowing that I love blue and green, so of course I have a blue and green painting here for you. So let me know in the comments if you are interested in this painting, and we'll do the giveaway, and um, it'll be open for a week from the date of this video, and check the description in case you're interested in the details. And then I'll, after that we'll pick the winner in an upcoming video. So good luck to everybody, and thanks for watching.
So the middle section between the two um, violet sections that just strip down the middle, um, not really liking that very much. It makes me kind of sad that it's there, but I'll do the best that I can to minimize that a little bit, but I think it did kind of take away a little bit of this painting, and I probably should have made another cup to cover that up so that I was happier with it, but it still has some really cool effects that you want to check out at the end when it's dry. I think the red in this one was a little bit too thick as well as in the last painting. Um, it actually was very difficult to move it across the canvas even just after I poured it and at, at this much paint it should be really easy to move. So I think that did make it a little harder to change the composition um, pour, to pour off a corner that I didn't like. And then in the final dried painting there's actually some sort of ridges that you can see. So definitely make sure that you always check the um, thickness of your paint before you use it. I'd, I'd stirred it up, but then I didn't actually dilute it before I used it. So I think that's why it felt very strange when I was moving it around. So here in the close-up you can see there's these little sparkly dots from the 1848 gold and so the fire dots actually made some gold dots which is kind of funny um, but I really like it I think because they're all gold they look really neat compared to an air bubble but in case you can't see it those are actually little gold spots that I must not have mixed the mica first but you can see the fire dots showing up a little bit there um, I think that's actually a pretty good description of this mica, but I hope you enjoyed this one, and I love this area here. Mm -hmm.